And uh, here's a question from Cuba667. Does the involvement in Yocto project uh, will result in a new product line where a double MCU will be used in a single package? Uh, where is the first MCU more powerful can run Linux and the second one RTOS? Real-time operations are still critical in some cases, but the standard Linux kernel can't deliver the hard real-time capabilities that are a large number of embedded systems demand. Or maybe there is something much bigger planned like QNX. Hello. QNX. So I'm Gerard Beiser. I am the STM32 MP1 software architect. So thanks for your question. This is a very good question with, with very pertinent assumption inside. So when this question was raised, you, you were not uh, already aware that we were about to announce the STM32 MP1. You can move on the yeah. So the STM32 MP1 is the first MPU that extends the already well-known STM32 MCU family. In this processor, it is an heterogeneous architecture. So you will find on the right a Cortex M4 running STM32 Q. So this one can be dedicated to run some uh, real-time application. For instance, in this demo, it is used to control the motor. Motorag inside, you have all the external memories. The good thing is you have a Raspberry Pi on the diagram, you can see that this MPU embed also a dual Cortex A7 that is running Linux. Our Linux distribution is called OpenST Linux distribution, and indeed, as you noticed, it is based on Yocto project. So that is for the demonstration. If you want more information, you can visit st.com. So it would be easy to download this? Yes. And uh, it sounds uh, it could be complicated. There's two things going on at the same time. You yep. have to manage. Uh, how do you manage? Yeah, so we try to make it easy extending the STM32 CubeMX tool. Maybe we can have a look on it. So, so in CubeMX tool, there is now a panel with several contexts, and you can easily select to which execution context you want to decide which memory. No, no, there was ah, no you just there say, I want an A7 or I want an a Cortex M4. Exactly. So if and what's the one in the middle there? What is different between those two? A7NS is for A7 Secure, uh, let's say it was done. A7NS is for A7 Non-Secure, that is running Linux. And the Cortex M4, of course, is for uh, STM32Q. And you, is this thing you just choose? Yes, you choose, and after you can generate the initialization code. So it will uh, generate uh, the STM32Q firmware as it used to do with the MCU. And for uh, Linux side, we generate the device tree that is used for the product configuration. What is this? This is a pinout, so this is directly inherited from what we had in the past already in STM32Q MX. This way, the customer can easily uh, choose a pin out and assign each pin to the function he wants on his product. Assign each pin? Yeah. That's a deep level control. Yes. All right. You're welcome. Bye.